Hello, my name is Rachel and I love clothes. And I, I finally got my sandals that I ordered off of Amazon that were not Amazon Prime. They were actually coming from China. So they did take a month to get here. So this is the very last item from my birthday shopping shenanigans month. <laughs> this was ordered, you know, towards the middle of June. It just took, like I said, a, a long time to get here, but they are here. So we're going to unbag them, review them, and and if they fit and work out for me, I'm even going to do a, a mini summer lookbook with just a couple of looks incorporating my new sandals. Now I did order these in a European 39 and I am usually a US size 8, although since I've started having my arthritic foot issues, I do tend to buy my shoes in 8 and a half more often. And I think a 39 is about an eight and a half. I think a 38 is an eight. I don't remember. I really don't remember how that works, but I did pay a lot of attention to the measurements and decided to order these in the 39. But oh, I'm not showing you the good part. And this of course being why I purchased them. <laughs> how cute is that? And these were, I don't remember the exact price, but I, I'm pretty sure with shipping, they were under $30. So the price was really good. I'm hoping with the platform and like I with with my arthritic foot, is, foot issues I can't wear flip-flops anymore but I'm hoping that these will be comfortable because they do have the platform which is the slightest of slant and and the thicker straps to really keep them on the foot but how cute uh, and you know there's the platform they don't have any traction on the bottom but I suppose I could scuff these up for some traction so, but so far that's the only point, part that I am disappointed about. I wish they had added traction to the sole, but we will see. So I guess all that uh, we can do is go try these on and then uh, I'll show you that here in a minute. And if they fit, then I'll show you a little lookbook incorporating these. So they do fit. They feel comfortable right now, but I have no idea how comfortable they would be walking around in them. all day would feel but yeah so far so good they don't like one of the problems I have is if something presses too hard right here on my let me show you here my my joint right here because this is where the the arthritis and the bunion are but so far these don't do that. They're really comfortable. Maybe just a touch loose. I feel like if I wasn't careful, I could easily kick these off. <laughs> but yeah, let me go put together a couple of little looks and in, in including these shoes for you. Here we have outfit number one. Uh, really simple. It's just my little Killstar dress. It's a velvet burnout that has the bats and the moons on it. This is from several seasons ago. I really do love this print. I think one of the first things I ever bought from Killstar, which I actually bought from Kate's Clothing in the UK, not actually off of Killstar, was in this velvet burnout. And I paired that with, of course, this Killstar purse that has the bat wings, which is absolutely adorable. And then, of course, the new bat sandals. Now, I'm pretty sure those bat buckles are metal, but they're also a very thin metal. So I'm not 100% sure how sturdy they'll be and how long these will last. But so far, I definitely think they were worth the money. But let me put on another outfit for, oh, and I forgot to, to mention my little spiked headband that I did get from Shein. So let me move on to another outfit. So here is outfit number two, and I have these adorable Batwing sunglasses that I did find on Amazon. And any of the stuff that I found on Amazon, I will of course be putting associate links down in the description box below. <laughs> this rainbow crystal headband that I got at TJ Maxx. Of course, this kill, the same Killstar purse with the Batwings because this is a bat themed little lookbook. <laughs> so this would go with every outfit that, that I put together for you today. Um, I can't remember, did I mention with that last dress? I was of course wearing my ruffled bloomers that I also did get off of Amazon. 
And the pink bat dress is from Dress Lily, uh, from one of my more recent Dress Lily hauls. And of course, once again, the bat sandals. <laughs> Sorry, I can't get like a full outfit thing. I will attempt to maybe get a picture or something, but just the way that my camera works, I don't have enough room in my room to back the camera far enough back to get down to my feet. <laughs> All right, so I have one more dress outfit for you and then I have my swimsuit outfit for you. So two more to go. And I totally forgot to mention, <laughs> this is uh, of course a necklace that I made. Uh, this particular one is not in my Etsy store, but I have very similar ones to this in my Etsy store. But, okay, now we're gonna move on. <laughs> so this next outfit, I have this adorable witch hat, which is from Amazon. I did make a scale mail with a little bat. I don't know if you can see it from here, but there's a little bat on here. Hat band for it. This dress was actually from my first ever Rose Gal haul, and actually I think it was my only ever Rose Gal haul because I order from Dress Lily uh, more often than Rose Gal, even though, I mean, they're technically, they're the same company. <laughs> because when I ordered my Rose Gal haul, some of the things came in Dress Lily bags. <laughs> but this is from that first uh, and only <laughs> Rose Gal haul. Yes. <laughs> but it is a super cute dress. However, like even though I did get it in, in my normal from those sites, they're two extra larges, they're US size 12. Uh, it, it is, this one is really baggy. Let me show you without the belt. So you can see it's just really roomy and baggy, but I really like the way it looks when it's cinched in with the belt. And this bat belt is by, I believe it's by Creepsville 666, if I remember correctly. Back on here, get myself situated. <laughs> but yeah, I, I do believe the bat belt is by Creepsville 666, and I think I got it off of either Amazon or eBay. Like I said, if I can find it on Amazon, I'll put the associate link down below. And then of course my Killstar Batwing purse. And yeah, I, I think this this outfit is absolutely adorable. This dress not only doesn't have bats, it also has kitty cats down at the hem. So how perfect is that? And of course. You know, the whole thing being I'm styling my summer bat sandals. Now I really feel like I need to go on that cruise coming up. <laughs> I've got so many great outfits. <laughs> okay, so the last outfit is going to be my swimsuit outfit. And that was the actually the intention when I bought these sandals. I bought them the same time or right after I bought those bat swimsuits from my previous dress lily haul, which if I remember, I'll link somewhere up in the cards, although I'll probably forget. But, <laughs> but um, I actually bought these sandals specifically to go with the bat swimsuits. And that'll be our final outfit. And here we have my final beach ready outfit. And I am wearing that bat burnout two piece tankini from Dress Lily, my kimono cover-up from Hot Topic. I have this really old Skill Animals bag, which is my usual travel bag, which I also got at Hot Topic. I'm wearing the these little bat wing sunglasses again, because of course I'm going to be on the beach. Uh, I found this hat on Amazon years ago for my many cruises, and I did add that bat hat band to it to tie it in with all the bats. And I also have my bat beach towel. Which I believe was from, I'm gonna say was it Sourpuss. One of those brands. And of course, because I'm spending the day at the beach, I'm gonna to need to stay hydrated. So I have my Garbage Witch Appetite for Trash <laughs> water bottle. And I will link uh, the big cartel for the Garbage Witch line of merchandise down in the description box below. And of course, anything from Amazon that I can still find will be linked in the description box below. So I am beach ready. 
or poolside ready if I'm on a cruise ship. And of course, still wearing the cute little bat sandals. The bat sandals, you know, this outfit being the whole concept I had when I purchased the bat sandals in the first place. So that is my mini summer beachy gothic bat lookbook. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoyed my unboxing and so far good review of these sandals. Like I said, I'm not 100% sure of the quality yet since I haven't actually worn them out of the house. I've only worn them to wear a couple of outfits here. <laughs> but so far, I, I think they look great and I really like them. They're comfortable so far, but I don't know how comfortable they'd be walking around in them all day long. And I don't know when, when it'll be that I'll even be able to get a chance to wear them around all day long and find that out. But so far, I'm very pleased. And thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know down in the comments below what you thought of all of today's looks. And if you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. If you did enjoy it, of course you can give me a thumbs down and please tell me all about it in the comments below. Oh yeah, and I am, once again, I keep forgetting to promote myself. I am wearing the bat necklace, uh, one of the resin bat necklaces that I did make. I, again, this one is not in my Etsy, but I have very similar ones in my Etsy, which I also link in the description box below. So much stuff. There's so much stuff in the description box below. Always check out the description box below. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I hope everyone is just staying happy, healthy, and safe in this incredibly crazy world we're living in. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.